and we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to create an image icon. Let's start with the rectangle tool. Make sure it has sharp edges by dragging the circle upwards to the max. It's selected, Ctrl D, I give it a different fill, use the dynamic offset on the path. You can create a cutout, but it's easier to select it all and press Ctrl D. Drag the copy diagonally like this and put it to the bottom. If you want to reposition it, keep in mind that it's two elements, so don't just select the black one and drag it. Instead, hold shift and then also left click on the red element to have them both selected and then drag it. Now use the Bezier tool, hold control when you drag this line and then left click. Create kind of like a mountain landscape. Close your path. You may want to use the notes tool and reposition one or two notes. Just click on them and then you can drag them around individually. Let me hold shift and click on the X to get rid of the stroke. And I use a black fill. And I reposition it and I transform it a little bit to the side. Then hold shift, click on red element, go to object, align and distribute and put it to the center, sort of vertical center. Now we use the ellipse tool, hold shift and alt to create a circle. We position it once more. If you don't want to give it different colors, it's a good idea to create a background first, especially when you want to play around with white color as our canvas is white. So let me create a circle first. I'll hold shift and alt when I drag it. Give it a different fill and put it to the bottom. Now hold shift and click on all the black elements. Give it for example a white color. And hold shift, click on red elements and maybe you want to make it black. When you resize any of these objects, hold shift and control. Now select only the two images, so these icons and I press control G to group it. I select it all, object, align and distribute and I put it to the center. I'll size it down. Once again, hold shift and control. Press control R to have your rulers. The snapping is enabled and I drag these guides to these two positions. And now I use the busy tool and follow these guidelines. I'll give it a fill, no stroke. Then I hold shift and click on blue circle, path and division. And now it's about finding a color combination that works. And maybe you want to make the black background in the image icon. The same color as your shadow. Let me do this. So first I have to select it, then shift Control G to ungroup. And then I shift click on the black elements and use this color. I hover over the guides and then I press the E key to get rid of them. Select it all, Control G. And this is how you can create such an image icon in Inkscape. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.